Hello and welcome back again to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to experiment on my hair again. So I'm going back like I dyed my hair before, but this time I want it lighter just like this one here. And I hope I can accomplish that hair today and I went to Solis to get all the things that I needed. So let's just go ahead and check it out. My hair is very dark brown right now, so I'm going to tone it down with a lighter color to see if it suits me. So here we go. I am going to start with Wella Powder Lightener and then just uh, drop three scoops in a bowl. So one scoop is equivalent to one Oz. And then I am going to add 30 volume developer so that ratio is one is to two, one part of lightener and two parts of developer. So I am adding six scoops of developer. Mix them all together nicely. The consistency is not so thick and runny, but it should be whipped and foamy. I know it's very messy and I'm just patching the areas that are still dark so if you can get someone to help you then that would be beneficial and I'll just leave this on my head for 30 minutes and then rinse it off and there you go this is the result it's so orangey so I'm going to apply another lightener for the second time to get it more yellowish Anyway, I am not a hairstylist. Like I said in the beginning, I am just experimenting on my hair. So I'll just leave this lightener for 30 minutes again, no longer than that since I don't want to damage my hair further. This is after rinsing it all off. It turned light pastel yellow now, which is the color that I am aiming for before toning. I'll just dry this all up, then go out and get me 20 ball developer since I don't want to use the 30 volume developer that I already have with the toner. So I don't know, but it looks horrible right now, though that's very understandable after bleaching. The process is very long and overwhelming if you really want to get light blonde hair. I'm going to use the Wella T18, just pour all the contents in a bowl and then add 20 volt developer. So it would be one part of toner is to two parts of developer. And I'm using the toner bottle to measure the developer for exact measurement. I am applying the toner with dump or towel dry hair, just what it said on the instructions. My hair is already turning purplish, so I have to hurry up and finish and coat all the hair strands, just making sure all are coated, and then leave this for 45 minutes. And once I'm done shampooing and conditioning my hair, I am going to apply this after color treatment to seal the color. Finally, I am done and this is the result and it's very similar to that uh, light, very light blonde that I want to achieve and though there are some patchy areas that needs to be fixed, uh, like darker areas, I don't know if you can see it but yeah, it's kind of darker but it's not really visible. This is how the color looks like when the light is off. I'm just using the natural light outside that is coming from that window. I don't think so. This hair color suits me real well. Honestly, I'm not really happy with the result, so I'm going to tone it again. I am going to use Wella T14 and Wella 050 to get that ashy blonde look. So one part of toner plus two cupfuls of 050 and then add two parts of 20 vol developer. long process and this is the result after combining that Wella T14 plus Wella 
color charm 050 and it's very ashy blonde which is really nice i'm loving the color so far i think this is better than the t18 resolve but i don't think so i'm going to keep this for long i will just wear it for a while and then go back to brown light or dark brown which i always wear before but anyway if you like ashy blonde color i would recommend 214 plus 050 it really toned the yellow tint on your hair which is really nice this is how it looks like with the natural light that is coming from that window but I will just go ahead and turn on the light so that you can see how it looks like as well with the lights on it is still soft and no damage after and yeah I can say it's pretty decent I felt like putting highlights on it would make it look so much better but seriously I'll just leave my hair for now oh that's it guys if you like this video, kindly click that red button below and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to put your thumbs up as well. Thank you so much for watching once again and see you in my next video.